Rediscover Flow at discoverflow.co. Flow, inspired by you. Sorrel is Christmas. You know, everybody look forward to a glass of sorrel, whether it be black, white, pink, red. Everybody looks forward to having sorrel for Christmas. For Sharon Rup Singh, a hobby of planting sorrel turned from a hobby in 2016 to now supplying companies. Her business, Rosella Rosellas, is now in its peak season of Christmas, but the process for these delicate plants starts at least three to five months before harvesting from her coal mine Sangre Grande estate. Well, this year we had about a thousand or fifteen hundred trees in the ground in the pink, and the peak point of picking the pink was in November. At that point, we harvested around three hundred and fifty pounds on that one day of the mature ones, and then we continued after. With regards to the pink sorrel, Miss Rup Singh says it was a blessing in disguise. When we purchased that ten of seeds and we planted. We got about eight different varieties, like three varieties of the black, two varieties of the white, a variety of red, and then there was this tree that was just looking like everything on its spoil and we left it. And then when they did mature, it was pink. So we ended up replanting every year from that. Ms. Rup Singh said while she may not have discovered a pink sorrel, it certainly has turned heads as a premium product with companies using it for seasonal sorrel beer and vodka infusions. The pink has that sort of champagne, moscato look that when you make a drink or something with it, it it's just different. It, it has everything that tastes sorrel. Some people would say it's a little more acidic, but they're still getting that sorrel taste. But owning a sorrel farm comes with its risk. Ms. Rup Singh outlining the fragile nature of her business as well as the care and effort that has to be employed. These are almost mature. This one is a bit more mature. So if you have rain for like two to three days of rain, these act as little cups and the water will be cut, collected underneath here and settle. And it will start to rot and they will drop. And her farm is now looking to diversify by offering sorrel seedlings and bring a sense of Christmas cheer both locally and regionally. We hope to export to different countries because a lot of people have shown interest worldwide in the, in the pink and the white sorrel. Some people have never seen it. Ms. Rup Singh says her dream is continuing to bring sorrel to homes, especially during this festive time and keeping that tradition alive. I am Sonolala with your TDT News Business Insight. Rediscover Flow at discoverflow.co Flow, inspired by you. It was the month before Christmas, the season of chaos, and Donna was worried. She wasn't ready for Christmas. But the everything plan she signed up for one day marked the beginning of gig speeds and the season of giveaways. Home makeovers, groceries, tech, and cash galore for paying her bill and switching to more. What were the chances, Donna thought with a blush. Flo truly meant it when they'd said, Christmas is on us.